So the, um, uh, the study was about a comparison of degarelics versus luprolide acetate to treat men with advanced prostate cancer. And the initial results of the study, the first uh, results were published in, I think, uh, 2008 by Dr. Laurie Klotz and colleagues. And at that time, the key finding on the initial publication was that when you compare monthly degarelics to monthly luprolide, uh, there was essentially equivalence over the first year and that degarelics really resulted in very sustained low testosterone levels in men with advanced prostate cancer. The key early findings was that degarelics really did a much better job in the first two months particularly of lowering the testosterone levels much more quickly than luprolide acetate and the clinical finding for urologists was that since there was no flare of testosterone and since the T levels went down rapidly and uh, very quickly that patients did not have to use both luprolide and an oral antiandrogen such as bicalutamide. So that was the basic clinical trial published in 2008. Now with five years of follow-up we followed that group of patients and find that there are long-term benefits to degarelics compared to luprolide and that the disease-free survival seems to be somewhat better with degarelics compared to luprolide. So there's a long-term benefit of degarelics.